Hey guys, welcome to Bharti Yoga. I am Bharti. Today we'll be doing a relaxing 20 minutes flow, which will focus on commonly tight areas like the hips, shoulders, and the sides. We'll end with a calming pranayam practice. This is perfect to be done at the end or even the middle of a hectic working day. So once you are ready, let's gently hop onto the mat and get going. Come to an easy cross-legged sitting position. Ground your sit bones into the mat and straighten your spine. We'll start by centering ourselves for today's practice. Bring one hand to your abdomen and the other on the chest. Close your eyes. Let's take a few deep yogic breaths here. As you inhale fully, feel your belly expand out, followed by the chest. As you exhale, your chest softens and your belly goes in. Again, inhale deeply, belly goes out. Exhale fully, belly goes in. Once more, inhale deeply, exhale fully. Keep going. Last time, inhale deeply, exhale fully. Very good. Now open your eyes. Bring your hands on either sides. As you take a deep breath in, take both the arms up, interlace the fingers and extend up. As you exhale, slowly bring the hands down. Again, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, last time, inhale up up, exhale down and relax. Now we'll do a twist. As you inhale, bring the left hand to the right knee and as you exhale, twist to the right, taking the right hand back. Inhale, come back. Exhale, twist to the left side, looking over the left shoulder. Inhale, come back. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, come back. Keep going, keep your back straight, you should feel a nice stretch in the lower and middle back. Last one, exhale twist, inhale come back, exhale twist, inhale come back. Now let's adjust our legs to bring the left heel to the perineum and fold the right leg on the outside, keeping the right foot flexed. Take both the arms behind and interlace the fingers. As you inhale deeply, bend back, extending the chest up. As you exhale, let go of the hands and start walking your hands out to come to a forward fold. Try to keep your tailbone grounded and do not lift the hips up. Take a few deep breaths into the stretch you feel in the outer hips and lower back. Now walk both your hands to the left side in line with the left thigh. Breathe into the stretch in the right side of the torso. Try to keep the back flat and both the arms extended out. Let's move to the other side. Breathe into the stretch on the left side of the body. Make sure you're not lifting your hips. Slowly come back up. Now let's do a stretch for the upper shoulders. Bring the right elbow over the left elbow and interlace the forearms to bring the palms together. Slightly raise the elbows to shoulder level. Breathe into the stretch in your upper back between the shoulder blades. Slowly release. Then take the right leg out 
and fold it backwards so that the left foot is near the right knee. Bring the hands on either sides. Taking support of the left hand, sweep the right hand diagonally up to come up on your knees and stretch sideways. You should feel a nice stretch in the right hip flexor and the right thigh. Come back. Let's do this four times. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Keep going. With each movement, feel the entire side body opening up. Last one and come down. Then turn sideways to the left to bring the left knee forward and the left ankle close to the right hand. Keep the right leg straight pointing back. Try not to drop the left hip by squaring the hip so that they are at the same level facing the left side. You can stay here in pigeon pose if the stretch in the left outer hip is already nice or you can fold forward to come on your elbows stay here in kapot asana for a few breaths we tend to hold a lot of tension in our hips pigeon pose is great for releasing stress and reducing anxiety Slowly come back up. Now turn forward so that the right leg is still extended out, keeping the left foot at the base of the right thigh. Bring the right hand on the inside of the right knee. As you inhale, take the left arm up and as you exhale, bend sideways to the right. Keep the chest open. Come back. Let's repeat this. Inhale, stretch up, looking up towards the sky. Exhale, come back. Inhale, up. Breathing into the stretch on the left side of the chest. Come back. Keep going. Last one. Very good. Then turn to the right, keeping the left foot folded. Straighten your back, taking support of the hands. Inhale, extend the arms up and as you exhale, bend forward to come to Janushirshasana. Bring the hands to the toes, keeping your back long, folding from the hips. Keep the right foot flexed so that the toes point up. With every inhale, elongate your spine and with every exhale, bend forward. Come back. Staying at this position, bring the left knee up and straighten your back, taking support of the ground with both hands. As you inhale, extend the right arm up and wrap it around the left knee. As you exhale, twist to the left. Keep your spine straight and let's stay in this twist for a breath. Slowly come back. Now we'll repeat this entire flow for the other side. Let's come back to cross-legged position with the right heel at the perineum and the left leg folded outside. Keep the left foot flexed. Inhale, interlace the hands behind your back and extend back. As you exhale, start folding forward, walking the hands out. Keep the hips grounded. Take a few deep breaths into the stretch you feel in the outer hips and lower back. Walk the hands to the right side in line with the right thigh. Stay here for a breath. Then move to the left side. Keep breathing. Slowly come back up. 
Now let's come to eagle arms by bringing the left elbow over the right and interlacing the forearms. Raise the elbows to shoulder level and let's stay here for a couple of breaths. Slowly release. Then take the left leg out and fold it backwards. Taking support of the right hand, sweep the left hand diagonally and stretch sideways. Come back. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, come up. Exhale down. With each movement, feel the entire left side of the body opening up. Last one and come down. Then turn sideways to the right to come to Pigeon Pose or Kapotasana. Keep the left leg straight pointing back. Square your hips so that they are at the same level pointing towards the right. Stay here or fold forward to come on your elbows. Keep breathing into the stretch in your right outer thigh. Slowly come up. Now turn forward so that the left leg is extended out, keeping the right foot at the base of the left thigh. As you inhale, take the right arm up and exhale to bend sideways. Come back. Let's repeat this four times. Inhale, stretch up. Look up towards the sky. Come back. Inhale, up. Breathe into the stretch in the right torso. Come back. Keep going. Keep the chest open and don't fall forward. Last one. Very good. Then turn to the left, keeping the right foot folded. Straighten your back. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, bend forward to Janu Shirshasana. Keep the left foot flexed. Bring the hands to the toes and try to keep the back long, folding from the hips. Inhale, straighten your back. Exhale, fold forward. Breathe into the stretch in the left hamstring. Come back up. Bring the right knee up and place the right foot close to the right hip. Inhale, extend the left arm up and wrap it around the right knee. Exhale, twist to the right. Keep the spine long and let's stay in this twist for a breath. And slowly come back and straighten the legs. Then let's come to a tabletop position. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, push your hands and feet into the ground and lift your hips up to come into downward facing dog. Let's walk the dog a few times by paddling our feet. As you straighten each leg, breathe into stretch in the back of the legs, in your calves and in your hamstrings. Finally, straighten both the legs and try to bring the heels to the mat. Press the chest closer to the thighs and extend the tailbone up towards the sky. Let's stay here for a breath. Then take the right leg back and step it forward. Bring the right knee down 
to come into pigeon pose, squaring the hips to the right. Then fold the left leg and try to hold the left foot with the left hand. You should feel a nice stretch in the left quads. If this is too much, just stay here. Otherwise, you can slide the left foot to the left elbow. If you are comfortable here, take the right arm up behind the back and grab the left hand with the right to come into mermaid pose. Let's stay here in mermaid pose for a few breaths, feeling a nice stretch in the front of the left thigh. Slowly release, come back to down dog and let's do it for the left side. Take the left leg up and come into pigeon pose on the left. Square your hips, then bend the right leg and find your variation of the mermaid pose. Keep breathing and have a gentle smile on your face. Slowly release. Let's come back to an easy cross-legged position for the pranayam practice. We'll start with Surya Bhedi Pranayam today. This is similar to Anulom Vilom, but here we always inhale from the right nostril and exhale from the left nostril. Fold the index and middle fingers of your right hand to make Vishnu Mudra. Then block the left nostril with the ring finger. Take a deep breath in through the right nostril and then switch your fingers to block the right nostril with the thumb and slowly exhale from the left nostril. Again, switch fingers, inhale from the right nostril and then exhale from the left nostril. Let's repeat this 10 times. Inhale right, switch exhale left, switch inhale right, switch exhale left, keep going. Very good. Bring the hands down and relax. Next, we'll be doing Chandravedi Pranayam, which is the opposite of Surya Bhedi. In this, we'll be inhaling from the left nostril and exhaling from the right. Bring the right hand to Vishnu Mudra and block the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale deeply from the left. Switch and exhale from the right. Again, inhale left. Switch exhale right. Keep going for 10 rounds. Surabhedi and Chandrabhedi are great for balancing our nadis and energies. Last one. And relax. We'll finish with Pramari Pranayam. Raise both the arms and bring the hands to the ears. Use your thumbs to press the flaps of the ears close. Place your index and the middle fingers gently on the eyelids and place the last two fingers above and below the lips. Soften your jaw and bring the awareness to the center of the head. Take a deep breath in and then exhale in a slow controlled manner making a deep steady humming sound. We'll do this three times. Mm. 
again. Inhale. Bring your hands down to your knees, keeping your eyes closed. We'll chant Om three times. Inhale. Shanti, Shanti. Bring your hands together and start rubbing the palms together to create heat in the palms. Then cup your hands and place them over your eyelids. Feel the heat of the palms through your eyelids. Slowly bring the hands down and open your eyes. Hope you enjoyed this practice and are feeling relaxed and calm. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.